So tell us a little bit about what an a HSA is. Um, and another acronym that you did throw out there was FSA. So maybe t we get, you know, so many people confuse those two things. Maybe you could expand upon the difference between them. Yeah, and that's that's one of the one of the great frustrations that we have in the industry, including a lot of us whose companies represent both of those accounts. And they're both great in the sense they both allow you to pay qualified medical, dental, vision, over-the-counter expenses with pre-tax dollars. Mm -hmm. So the tax savings are equivalent on the on the two. Uh, but there are a lot of limitations that a health FSA has. Health FSA stands for Health Flexible Spending Account, and yet it's really much less flexible than the health savings account. <laughs> and, and, and the big area of confusion, I think number one, is this idea with a health FSA, if you don't use the money by the end of the year, you forfeit your remaining balance. And employers do have an opportunity to allow you some extension of that, okay. but it's very limited. Uh, essentially, you need to spend your FSA money year to year. It's an annual reimbursement program. A health savings account, in contrast, uh, think of it as your checking account, as your retirement account. That money continues to grow year after year. There's no requirement you, de you deplete the account <clears throat> at the end of the year. There are no limits to how much you can have in the account over time. There are limits to how much you can contribute each year but that money remains in the account until you spend it, whether that is next month or next year or 30, 50 years down the road. So that's the, the number one difference. There are some other differences that are really important. Uh, with an FSA, you are locked into an annual election. So before the beginning of the plan year, you've got to kind of figure out how much are we going to spend on dental, vision, and, and, uh, and medical. And if you're right, that's great. If you <clears throat> overshoot, you can forfeit. If you put in too little money, then you're gonna lose tax savings during the course of the year. With a health savings account, you can change your contribution level as your needs change during the year. So another flexible piece there. Also, um, a couple of other quick things. Health savings accounts, you can earn interest on the money, you can invest it and you can leave it to an heir. So when you die, the account doesn't die. It's actually a trust. And as your, as your listeners know, because you've taught them, trusts don't die. Yes. Um, they are transferred to somebody at your instruction at your death. So they are transferable so you don't lose the value of a health savings account just because you're no longer here. And, oh, go ahead, Keith. Yeah. And, uh, another benefit that I hear quite a bit is the term triple tax-free. Yeah. Can you elaborate on that maybe a little bit? Yeah, so the beauty of this is, and, and your, your listeners who are used to retirement accounts know that usually you're gonna get taxed on either the front end or the back end. And that question is always, do you wanna be taxed on the seed or do you wanna be taxed on the harvest? <laughs> That's a great way to put it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, with, with, with health savings accounts, you don't face either. So contributions made to a health savings account are not included in federal taxable income. They're not included in state taxable income unless you live in California or New Jersey, but the other 48 states either have no income tax or they've exempted HSA contributions. And you also pay no payroll taxes if you contribute through your employer's pre-tax payroll program. So the money goes in tax-free, it accumulates tax-free, so the growth, like a typical retirement account, you're not taxed as that account appreciates over time. And then when it comes time to distribute money, you need to spend it, uh, that will not be taxed as long as you use it to pay qualified expenses. So tax-free going in, tax-free accumulating, tax-free coming out.